Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is a dream for so many of these players. The chance to go to Glendale and play in the Fiesta Bowl. Only one team can come out with a win tonight. As you look live inside the stadium, the intensity is building, and we're not far away from teeing it up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Tostitas Fiesta Bowl here in Glendale, Arizona. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The car is lined up to kick this one off, and you can Feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Carter takes a handoff. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 40. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Strike to his receiver, no good. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. McGill, back deep to return. And he muffed it. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gene takes it up the middle. Tackle around the 22-yard line. Gene's the type of player that any coach would dream to have on their roster, and today could really be historic for him. He's on the verge of breaking a record here. He should be awfully proud of what he's been able to accomplish. From their own 22-yard line, second down. bring him down at the 18-yard line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. He 
He's going to go for the home run. It's picked off. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Touchdown, Tigers! Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. One screen pass. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 20-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. And he's hit immediately. And a quick throw. And they're going to get somebody for interference on that play. Let's see who the call is on. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. Jenkins is waiting for the snap. White fields at the 31, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. I think the defense has got to be able to make some adjustments after the last series where they were just dominated up front. Look for them to start to cheat up the safeties up close to the line of scrimmage, maybe leaving themselves vulnerable to the pass game. And he is drilled at the 36. That makes it so It's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. LSU is up seven. Gives it off. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. Here's a quick throw. And he's immediately tackled. And he hauls it in. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. From the 41-yard line, 
First down. The Tigers running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. it on the option play and picks up six. That makes it third and three. So we're looking at another third down here. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. LSU up seven points. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. LSU's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. It's a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 24. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. And they're coming after this punter. And he can't hang on to the ball. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Well, the last drive was good for three. But I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Brought down around the 36-yard line. Boy, this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh, my gosh, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football at that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Yeah. 
throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. And that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 10-0, Tigers. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's brought down in the open field. Mosley gains about four yards there. Man, that's another first down on this drive. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. He zips it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. They flitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. This is the 11th play of this drive. Just throws this one away. From the 17-yard line, it's third down. This one's going deep to the end zone. Fisher intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and 15. Kicks away, and he's got it. LSU to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He tackles him for a loss. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. it out to about the 37-yard line. Third and 11. Ball on their own 37.
tackle around the 45-yard line. Jenkins awaits the snap. He's taken down at the 21. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Nice run there. White picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Five wide. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. McGill fields it at the 30. Brought down at the 38-yard line. Gene's game is just off here in the first two quarters, Kirk, and You've got to think that they've got to do something a little bit differently. Try to get them out in space and give them a little room to work. Sometimes, Brad, over the years, we've been watching games together. You, you just see a small little play uh, allow running back to all of a sudden get into a groove or find that rhythm. And, and that's kind of what I think you and I are both sensing. Right now, it's it just not working. And maybe it's a screen pass. Maybe it's a flare. Maybe it's something out of the backfield just to be able to get his hands on the football in space. And that might be a small enough thing to be able to get him going again in the running game. From their own 34-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 46. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. He's hit and taken down. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And they hit him in the backfield. From the 34-yard line, second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Once it all, going deep. Well, that's the gamble that you take when you blitz. There was plenty of room in his secondary, and when he found his receiver, there was more than enough space to get the first. scrimmage they tried to get a head start there once you're set you've got to stay that way the slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line Takes it left side, and he's brought down in the backfield. Man left, man left. 
They'll line up with five wide receivers. And down he goes at the seven-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure First when it was off. thrown. Let's find out. Offense. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. This is the eighth play of this drive. With the pass incomplete. Here's a case of the quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 13-3, LSU. Miami is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong. But the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Caught over the middle. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here we go. Caught open field. He steps out around the 42-yard line. First down. He chucks it downfield. And it's going the other way. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Throws in the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. He lets it fly. Complete. He's got room. The 10. Touchdown, Kane. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 57-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 13-10. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And he just got stood up right there.
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU is up by three. To the 20, tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. To the 10, touchdown Hurricanes. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. Brad, it's very important that this offense put that last possession behind them and just focus on trying to put together some positive plays right now and see if they can put a drive together. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. From their own 30-yard line, second down. his receiver who's wide open touchdown Tigers and for Fisher that's another catch and that puts him at 100 yards for the game I think the quarterback and this receiver right now are clearly in the zone the defense needs to do a better job of adjusting their defense to be able to slow him down he now has over 100 yards receiving in this game and there's still a lot of ball game to play, fellas. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score... LSU leads it 20 to 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll work the right side. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. He's taken down at the 28. Gene gets three yards on the play. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds Jenkins is the punter so you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around LSU has a three-point lead. He delivers, and he's immediately tackled. That's good for a game of 17 yards. First of all. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 45. That makes it first and 10. Nice run up the middle. Carter picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 38. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it third and three. about three yards to get the first down here on third down empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers pitches back the defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage Holds a field goal lead. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 37. Big stop by the defense. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle at the 32. 
From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. run up the middle. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. And the goal line defense digging in here. right running backs got it and he's taken down right around the 36 yard line really nice play by the receiver to make sure he had possession before trying to make even a bigger play that's all you need to do in that scenario it's first and ten ball on the 36 yard line tries to pitch it and now the ball is and now he fumbles scoops up the loose ball he's into the open field he's at the 30 He's at the 20. They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. We're about set to start things up again. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Touchdown, LSU! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. converts the extra point. Marlon is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Brought down right around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. it out to his receiver in a hurry and down he goes around the 28 yard line oh, 
They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Looking for the corner. White takes it at the 33. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That brings up second and nine. it to the back. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. to that quickly and he's tackled right around the 28 yard line and they'll get him in the backfield and the defense comes through or the defense was waiting on that one they've seen plays like that all season long and they came up with a great stop They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And it's caught. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Roger, Roger. Hey, 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 look, look, look. Nice nice and they push him out at the 34-yard line. At a certain point, he just needs to put his shoulders down and run somebody over instead of trying to push it to the outside and take a loss. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's under pressure. Going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. So at the end of the third quarter, LSU leads it 27-17. to the action. Jenkins awaits the snap. White fields at the 29. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Fires it out. 
And he hits him hard at the 43. He gets sacked on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Johnson to punt. Tackle made at the 33. LSU's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. The pitch, and he's got some room. He makes his way to about the 45. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. First and 10, ball on the 33. Tackle after a decent pickup. That's a D That brings him second and five. They get him in the backfield for a loss. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Gene, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he tackles him hard at the 18-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 18. the ball here and brought down in the backfield. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's level at the 26. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. 
Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws it in a hurry. Steps out of bounds around the 38-yard line. That brings him second and five. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And this is the eighth play of the drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Carter gets seven yards on the play. Second and three. Miami will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Got some open field. Nice run to the left there. Six yards there on the option keeper. The Hurricanes using their third and final timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. run and he's brought down we're at the 12th play of the drive down in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. 13th play of the drive coming up. Under a minute left. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of seven on the play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Gives it left side. And they got him for a loss. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27-17, LSU. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Pretty comfortable win, right about what we expected. This was a strong effort. LSU earned themselves a quality win. These guys weren't necessarily a pushover, and they played a pretty good game, but the better team won.
EA Sports congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. For LSU, today's win puts them in the prestigious 10-win category for the season. And for Miami, they go to 7-6 on what has been an average season.